Yo, what's up, everybody? B-Boy Spaz here. And today, I'm going to show you something that I've found out recently that's actually pretty cool. So, um, yeah, most of us has played <clears throat> Guitar Hero at some point in time. And as you all know, Guitar Hero World Tour has the drums, which you see right here behind me. And basically, you can actually use the Guitar Hero drums to trigger stuff in Ableton, like the Impulse, and actually play the drums and record it. And I'm just going to show you pretty much what you have to do to do that. So first step would be to buy the Microsoft Wireless Gaming thing. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. This is it here. Basically just USB wireless so that you can hook up um, Xbox controllers to your PC. Now normally this is just for PCs. Um, it came with a CD. I don't know where I put it. <clears throat> but for Macs, um, someone actually wrote a program that will let you use it on a Mac. And I'm going to put links for it in the sidebar. Which is what? Here? There? Anyways, once you load that and another driver in your system preferences, you're actually going to see Xbox 360 controllers and Gamepad Companion. 360 controllers is what's going to actually read the controller. Um, so it's going to tell you, you see all the inputs the controller has and everything. Um, so you see when I hit the yellow drum pad or on the on the buttons you can see it actually lighten up and everything and then the other one you need is the gamepad companion and this one it will actually show your connection so you see my wireless controller and you actually set what each button does to an actual button on your keyboard so as you see, button 3 is mapped to J. And you can set what type of action it is. So like single key is what you're going to be using for the most part. After you do that, you can save your configuration if you want to. Like down here, I save Guitar Hero drums. So basically, each one of the Guitar Hero pads on the drums is just triggering a note. So I just hit start here. And once you do that, basically, you can trigger stuff as if it was playing with a keyboard. So, you know, in Ableton Live, if you have this turned on right here, <clears throat> you can actually use your keyboard as a MIDI keyboard. And when I say keyboard, I don't mean like music. I mean, you know, just a typing keyboard. So, you see, I have it set up here to be able to press letters and do it that way. So my drums actually are going to be triggering things for me. Um, so yeah, let me show you. It's actually it's pretty sick. I like it. I like it a lot.
so yeah, you get you get the idea. Um, my drum playing kind of sucks. I don't really play drums, kind of. Um, sorry about the, you know, I got off tempo and all that good stuff, but whatever. Only downside to this is since it's triggering it as if it was keys, there's no velocity sensing at all. So you could play real soft and it's going to still be the same. Other than that, it's pretty cool. So yeah, just a finding I found out. Pretty cool. You can actually record the stuff in and then edit it. So if you have any more questions about it, hit me up. And other than that, do it up. All right.